Is this a new culture in the church or is it a sign of moving with the times? Now joining us in studio is Pastor Morgan Lecheto Muragabi from the Freeway Tabernacle Ministries in Soweto. Pastor, welcome to AMUs. Welcome. I mean, I was just saying to you before the ad break that I had no idea that there was even a phrase known as celebrity pastors. Is there such a phrase? No, I don't think so. Mm. Because uh, uh, pastors are not uh, celebrities. They are mentors, spiritual mm. uh, fathers for the congregation. Now, because there is this phrase that is going around, of course, in the country, Yeti celebrity pastors, I, I suppose people still want to know, do these celebrity pastors, do they still stick to their initial calling or is there a special kind of um, consultation that they have with the celebrities? Thank you for asking that. Yes, we're still focusing on the initial calling. Mm -hmm. When we look at Matthew chapter 22, verse 14, the Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. Although many will depart from their calling mm -hmm. because of their individual interest. Um, I, for one, let's just check uh, the illustration of Christ. Jesus Christ said, in the last days, many will run away from faith. And uh, Paul emphasized that uh, in the scripture that uh, many will preach out of hunger. Now, I, I want to ask this question because there's also been a, a trend that we've seen on television. I'm sure for those who watch TV, they know that there's a, a new reality show that's been out called, called The Pastors of L.A., The Preachers of L.A., yes. just to be, to be correct. But... Does, 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 does the spotlight derive the pastor from the initial calling? Does it get to a point whereby they want now to take care of the brand of being the celebrity pastor and forgetting the initial calling? Yeah, let, let's look at uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. Those are the fruits of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm saying this, fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, and self-control. Mm. Let me explain spotlight. Spotlight is to uh, serve as a simple door and uh, to be known, even let's say you've been uh, invited in the body of Christ to impact other bo uh, body of Christ. But let me uh, give you the last illustration. Itubelengune never call for a spotlight. Mm. His talent opened door for him to be on the map. Mm. Yes. And is it the same thing with the, with the celebrity pastor then, when they feel that they have to, to take care of the brand and make sure that they're in good light? Because if you're on the spotlight, then you get media exposure. Definitely, And yes. we know that the media is not always looking for the brightest of news about you. Most times they're looking for the most controversial ones. Um, I guess my, my question for you is, do we see pastors coming out as brands? Do we see them coming out, talking more about their private life, sharing their controversial and um, private stories in the media? Yes, let, let's look uh, again uh, regarding um, let your private life be the most pleasing to God mm. and your public life will be a blessing to others. Now, as I mentioned to you again, I'm past that in I mean, pub, any publicity is um, good publicity as long as you're getting media exposure. And is the same, does the same thing go with, with, with pastors? I don't think so. Because like I said before, we take this uh, conversation Pastors are not celebrities. Mm. They are mentors because young, young people, they, they need to be mentor. Mm. Of, uh, they need to be uh, inspired by pastors in the church. And with that inspiration, do you see a flock of young people or even people in general coming to the churches after they've seen a specific pastor being exposed in the media? Yeah, actually, like, like I said, uh, like you're talking about a brand mm. in the nutshell. You said uh, a brand is, uh, is not... Uh, 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 it's not a key to, to, to let people to the church. Mm. It's not. So the pastor is? Yes. How so? The reason why I'm saying this, the pastor has been called mm. to be there as a person who, who is going to help the flock of the, of the, the fivefold ministry mm. to be in line with the word of God. Now we've also seen, I mean, just going back to my question with regards to reality TV and the brand trend, of course, with, within the, 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 the pastors and the church. Um, we've seen the preachers of LA on TV, um, you know, coming out with a reality TV show. And we know that the reality TV culture is becoming very popular in South Africa. Do we see pastors coming out, having their own reality TV show? Of course, perhaps even as an agenda to bring more people into the church. It might happen in South Africa. Mm. It might happen any time as I speak right now. Because uh, to be honest, South Africa, we may me uh, LA, we may me overseas uh, international things. Yeah. But I believe it might happen anytime in South Africa.
All righty then. Pastor, thank you so much for joining us. Pastor Morgan Lecheto Mogagabi, the co-pastor at the Freeway Tabernacle in Soweto. Thank you so much for shedding light it's on this pleasure. issue. Thank you. All righty. We will leave it at that and um, we will wait for Kevin Mahamati after.